Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and haven't I made this video before? There's something that's been on my mind for a long time, several years now, is how do electronics and pickups affect the tone of an acoustic guitar? Ah yes, that age-old question from the depths of the internet. Does the bags element undersaddle pickup affect the tone of your acoustic guitar while unplugged? For a while I did think it made a difference and that's why I made that video. But looking back, as you can see, the video is now rather low quality and I thought it was worth revisiting this because I see it pop up every now and again on the forums. People say, should I install the Anthem? A bunch of people say, well, it sounds great plugged in, but it affects the sound of your guitar. So today I'm filming in 4K, direct microphone into my interface. If you watch on something like Google Chrome, you can select 4K, wear some good headphones, use some good monitors. Let's do the test again. Let me play you the guitar with the undersaddle pickup, the Element pickup, and then without it. This guitar is the Rain Song Vintage Series. I love this guitar. It came to me with a Stage Pro system. It's got the barn door, and then it's got the True Mic inside with the Element undersaddle pickup under the saddle. So let's go straight to it. I'm going to roll the clips, listen very carefully, and tell me in the comments below if you think there's a difference, and try to write that before you hear my conclusion when I come back. All right, roll VT, here we go. Okay, so what did you think? I will give you my honest opinion first of all. I played the guitar with the pickup in. The first example was with the pickup. So I played it a lot. I really wanted to get familiar with that sound. I also put brand new strings on because I like a brighter, livelier sound and the strings have been on for a while. So I put fresh strings on, played it and played it and played it this time. I played it a lot. I really wanted to get familiar with how the guitar felt and sounded in the room. I then made the recording. Okay, all was good. I went to the other room, I pulled the pickup through into the guitar, I put the saddle in, which is higher, so no pickup, a higher saddle, so the action and everything is about the same. That was important. In my last test I did it myself, this time my guitar tech did this when I went for a setup recently. So I pulled the pickup through, put a higher saddle in, came back in, played again. First thing I thought was, oh, is there a difference? Now, I think some of this is psychological because I did honestly think there was a difference to start with. But honestly, then I played for a few seconds and thought, nah, there's no difference. And then when I listened back to the videos, there's definitely not a difference. And to check the volume, I had a noise meter app on my phone, really cool app, and I had it the same distance from me both times. And the volume 
both times was the same. I could hit the same max volume. The way I tested this was I just played as hard as I could, see what the maximum volume was I could get from the guitar. They both clocked exactly the same volume, which is right here. So if the volume's the same, the tone's the same, I don't think there's a difference. Now I'd love to know what you think, so please write your honest thoughts below. I love getting your feedback, and if there's something else I can test, I'm happy to do it. But this test made me happy. A few years ago, I got on this thing of saying, the anthem affects the tone of my guitar. I think it was because I took a very nice sounding acoustic to a local repair guy, and he installed the anthem. But this is what I think can happen. I think you can play a guitar, I think the strings can make a difference. If the strings get old and you play with new strings, it makes a difference. I think when you have something installed by someone else, they could lower the action, they could change the neck relief, they could do a bunch of things. You could have a saddle from a different material, all these little things. And then if you get it back, or maybe it's even kept overhumidified, it comes back overhumidified and it just sounds different. All these things can affect the tone. And I also think with me, some of it is psychological. Because I got that seed of doubt in my brain at some point, I then thought, well, there's something in the guitar, it must sound different. And psychologically, I think there's some truth to that for me. I'm not saying for everyone. And I still have to say, well, if you change stuff in the guitar, it must make a difference. And Larry Fishman, on my interview with him on the, the channel, said that these soft undersettled pickups have excellent bass response, a big bass sound, but they do reduce the top end of the guitar. But I think, I mean, I must check with Larry to see, but I think he's talking about very, very, very high frequencies that we can't even hear. When I listen back to these two guitars with these headphones on really carefully, I honestly cannot say I hear a difference. And, you know, even if you tell me, well, there's a 1% difference, my argument then is, okay, there's a 1% difference, but you have a great pickup in the guitar. The Anthem is tried and tested by me for years. I always come back to it, it's a great system. It's worth it, in my opinion. I compare it a little bit to the Stratocaster. Some people lock the trem down, so you can't use the whammy bar on your Stratocaster. They'll say it gives more sustain, and I think I agree with that too, but then you can't use the trem bar. So is that little extra sustain worth it when you can't use the trem? Well, I guess if you don't use a trem, it's worth it, because you're never gonna use the trem anyway. But on the other hand, same with acoustic. If you're never gonna use it plugged in, I'm still gonna say don't put a pickup in there because you might not like the look. And again, subconsciously, you might think it sounds different, even though I really believe it doesn't. But my point is to have that amazing pickup in there for me is well worth it. But no, I say it once again, I'm gonna go on record here. I listened back, I could not hear a difference. In the room, I could not hear a difference. I also did one more test, which I didn't record with two Martins. One had a K and K, one had an Anthem pickup. I put a blindfold on, I strummed the first guitar, I didn't know which guitar it was, and I thought, okay, it doesn't sound amazing, that must be the one with the anthem, because of my, my history of, of thoughts. Then I strummed the next guitar and thought, oh no, actually, that sounds worse than the first guitar, so that must be the anthem. But then I thought, but, and I strummed again, I thought, but actually, they're, no, they're really close, there's, there's, there's nothing here, there's no difference. And I thought, okay, which one will I say is the anthem? I'm going with my gut. That first reaction I had to that first guitar, that must be the one. I chose that, bearing in mind they were super close after I strummed a few more times, and that was the K and K. So I was kind of right the first time. But again, here's the thing. The guitar with the anthem was a cutaway and had a different synthetic saddle, where the other guitar had a bone saddle. So obviously these things are gonna affect it as well. Plus different guitars, different woods, different builds, all these things. And listening to those recordings, please let me know again if you agree with me. I think they sound almost identical, if not identical. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Please subscribe for more videos and content like this coming soon. And until next time, enjoy your Anthem pickup or whichever pickup you decide to use. Bye-bye.